and an update tonight on the deadly shooting of a clerk at a Miami Gardens food market. Tonight, we're hearing from store employees who heard the gunshots, ran outside, and saw the victim's body right there on the ground. CBS 4's Aurelio Ortega is live in Miami Gardens tonight with more. Aurelio, what happened? Cynthia, an employee, tells us that he heard several shots fired, that you can see some of the bullet holes on the side of the building, and we're about to show you that in our piece. But he says he came out here and his friend was on the ground dying. Meantime, the person who did this is still out there. I see them like they died, they died on the floor, dying very quick. It was almost the end of his shift when Hussein Majid was waiting for his co-worker, Zaid Karbar, to relieve him at the Strawberry Food Mart Friday night. He came to work at 7. When he got out of the car, he barked it outside behind the store, and he got out of the car. But the 53-year-old, father of eight, would not make it inside the store as someone fired several bullets. I heard a shot happening behind the wall, knocking the bullets knocking behind the wall. I heard the bullets when the bullets got the wall. Yeah, about like three, four times, somebody shot him behind the store, and they both fell on the floor right away. And he died. Miami Gardens police responding to the scene off Northwest 191st Street and 37th Avenue. Customers who heard what happened upset, telling us Carbar was well known in the neighborhood. He's a good guy. He's he sit behind the store. Anything you need, if I need anything and I even don't have the money, he'll give it to you. This is a good guy. Bullet holes seen on the side of the building next to a growing memorial with teddy bears and flowers customers have left behind in memory of a man they say was well-loved and well-liked. He's a good person. He's a nice person. Very nice person. He had no problem with nobody. And back out here live at the memorial, you can see that some of the teddy bears say R.I.P. Zeke. That's what people around here called Zaid. The store employee tells us that Zaid worked here for about five years and that he has no idea why anyone would want to do him any harm. If you have any information, contact Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Reporting live from Miami Gardens, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News. Thanks, Aurelia.